VH Lomar, we can say Kizai, Nados Hem Torah Shabir Sav, that the seven candles correspond with the written Torah. Kana Hem Tsai. So that's the that's the middle candle. The Torah Shabal Peshi Shekanim. And the oral Torah is the six candles. She she's a Sidre Mishnah corresponding with the six uh, orders of the Mishnah. The Inyan Baloscha and the concept of lifting them up, Lakasher, Ulachabra Nigalush Torah to connect and tie the revealed parts of the Torah Panimi Satora to the inner part of the Torah, Shawinyan Orhaganus Hulu, which is the concept of the hidden light uh, and this is the concept of how great is your goodness that you hid and so forth so uh, attaching the the uh, so if the, the Torah in general corresponds with the menorah when you lift the menorah up you're connecting the revealed parts of the Torah to the Torah Shabbat Sav the Konem Tzoy and the Torah Shabbat Peh, the six candles, to higher to the Pneumius of the Torah. Daf Reish Mem Tess, Sof Amud Aleph, Amud Beis, Hizkir Masha Kasov Daf Kufir Amud Beis B'Shem Aramban. Daf Reish Nun Vav Amud Beis Kasov Neros De Beis HaKanesis, Ksas Me'in Neros De Menora. So, uh, it brings that from Daf Reish Mem Tess, Mestam in the Zohar Kadosh. Um, no, it can't be the Zohar Kodesh, but there, it's from the Ramban. So maybe it's from the Shalah. Yeah, it's from the Shalah. So uh, from the Shalah, he, he brings something in the name of the Ramban, and he also brings that the, the candles of the Shul are a me'ain, they're in a likeness of the candles of the Menorah. Parsha Svayit, Sira, Dafresh, Tzadik, Beis, Sofimar, Aleph, Minyan, Zayin, Kfulo, Tzchulu, you have these seven doubles, so you have these seven um, candles of the menorah and so forth. Not sure what, not sure what the kafulos are. The fisa yishlomar el mul pnei menorah hem gimel osios. With this, according to this, we can say that the facing the the menorah is the three letters, emesh, avimayim eish harom zimul gimel roshonos roshonos chulu that they correspond with the three first sviros. So over there it writes that uh, the facing the menorah that's bina vahainu kitiferes kanem tzai ola bebina chulu that's the middle pillar the middle candle goes up to bina which is, which is tiferes goes up to bina and this he brought this he brought before zewin yin shavas shibolim olos bekane echad chulu and this is the idea of What's brought in, in the dreams by the story of Yosef, that you have seven um, sheaths that w went up in one uh, in, in in one kana. so they were all going up with that one uh, uh, one pillar of the candle, one pillar of the candelabra went up to Bina, and that's the kana Tsai, That all the entire menorah goes up to that one kana. Now in Medrash Rabbah, it says, facing the menorah, the seven candles will, will shine, or Pnei Melechaim Chulu, in the light of the countenance of the king, El Mul Pnei Menorah, facing the menorah, move in the beginning of Mul Pnei Menorah, Zewinyin, or Pnei Melech, so it's understood then, the concept of facing the menorah is the concept of the light of the countenance of the king, or Pnei Melechaim. Vayin Mashiach Gazim Inyan Or Pnei Melech Al Pasuk Chanu V'Racham Avaya Erech Apayim. And look what's brought about this idea of the light of the countenance of the King. Uh, in the verse, merciful and gracious is Hashem. Erech um, Apayim. Mashiach Gazim Al Pasuk Hashem Yimloch Lolam Vaad. And what's brought in the verse that Hashem will be King forever. Vayim Mechuvan. And the intention is Shalidei Al Azayin Hanidos Mamshichim Giloi Or Pnei Melech. That through the light of the can seven candles we draw down the revelation of the light of the countenance of the king. 
Hubachinas mul panem menorah. And that's this idea of facing the countenance of the menorah. To understand this idea of the light of the countenance of the king and understand it according to what it says, look, I've placed in front of you life and so forth to choose the life. Because all the pleasures of, the pleasures of this world are called death and bad. Because they come from the sort of the uh, allegorically, this the the backside hole. Like it's brought upon the verse that we we sat in the valley facing the house of the of the peor, and that's the kind of avodah that they would uh, do that with. That connects to this, that idea. But in the the opposite the, of the backside is the front side. That's the light of the countenance of the king. So you have life that's forever, which is the life of the world to come. So you have on the backside you have death. So the opposite, the front side, then is life and the world to come. Now even by Moshe it says that he will not see my countenance, my my front. In Luke, what's brought on the verse that Hashem will be king, the Isa ben Mendel Shraba Ilu Amru Hashem Malach Lo Yashum Shiburhulu. That if they would have said Hashem will be was king, there would not have been any um, uh, any subjugation. Vainu Kidav Kalasi Lavo Nemar Vaya Hashem Melachulu, because it specifically it says that in the time to come, that's when Hashem will be king. Ali Deva Alu Moshim Chulu through it through. Uh, savers going up to judge the mountain of Yosef and so forth. And the end of that pasuk is that Hashem will be king. So if they would have had that idea of Hashem being king, then there wouldn't have been any golos, any subjugation. And now he's called a king of kings, meaning that there's other kings underneath, and it's not just Hashem. But there's these nations, these other things that cover over, and, and Hashem's kingship isn't completely revealed yet. So to an Atzilus, he's called the king of, of all king of all kings. So they're the, who are the, these kings? That's Zan Nukva. Uh, you have the Hashpa that goes through the Midos. But in the time to come... So you have the king of all king of all kings is Kesser of Za of Nukva. But in the time to come, you can have the revelation of Kesser itself. You're going to have the Hishtashlus is going to come in a more revealed way from Kesser. The Ainsof, Mamash, the uh, Malchus, the Ainsof, a revelation of the Malchus of Ainsof beyond the Tzilos, Vizel, Inyan, or Pene Melech. And that's the concept of the light of the countenance of the king. Because that's the true king, is, is the, the Melech of the Malchi Amlachim. You have a revelation of that level. So that's the, the true countenance of Pene Melech. And that's the concept of the of the length, the faces, the length of, of the countenance. Or you can say that Hashem will be king. Similar to the idea that Hashem will be for me, for Elohim, or that's brought in Torah or Rish Parshas say that the Elohim Havai will be elevated to the level of uh, to a higher level and will be then the Elohim the Havai the, the level that's Havai now will be like the level of Elohim so Havaya Havai Lamelech will also similarly you could say that Havai will be elevated to the level where it's compared to Malchus uh, so it'll be the lower level and it'll be Lamelech Havaya Havai Lamelech Kul Venin Soi Keshaya Atzmo when Havaya itself becomes like the level of Elohim, so then Havaya will be considered the king, like Malchus, the lower level. Which is not the case now. Malchus is, is the lower level of the name, Adna and so forth. It calls it, and how will this happen? You'll, you'll be through having a re revelation of the essence of the infinite light and so forth and this is drawn down through elevating the candles and so forth near Havaya Nishma Sodom the candle of Havaya is the soul of man
through elevating the candles. So you have Mul Pnei Menorah, and you get this con concept, the revelation of the Pnei Vayi Bara Maskelor Nevisim Chayadi Shun Vayi Dei Nei Mitzvah. And through this concept of the candle of is a mitzvah. Vayi Dei Zemam Shichim Bichinus Vayi Pnei Melech. And through this, we draw down the light of the countenance of the king. Vev Shalom, or we can say Zayin Nero Zayin Midos. That the seven candles correspond with the seven attributes. Vizir Anpin Batika Achid Vitalia and Zir Anpin with the seven attributes is hung and dependent upon Atika of Keser, Lamaila, Mishresh Chachma Bina, higher than the source of, of, of Chachma Bina, beyond, uh, the, so the Midas are dependent upon higher than the Shoresh in Keser, or higher than the Shoresh of Chachma Bina in, in Keser. And that's the concept of the supernal uh, Merkava, the supernal chariot, Shemaylim Abba Ve'ima, that they elevate the mother and the father, uh, and through this supernal chariot that Za elevates Abba Ve'ima, this draws down the light of the face of the countenance of Ari Khanpin. And that's the concept of uh, uh, that Hashem will shine his countenance towards you. And that this light should come in uh, uh, into Melech, into the king, into Malchus, and into the lower levels. So you draw down from on high all the way down below. Tezayin, tezayin. 